So, episode 11 of Kononaka ni Hitori Imotogairu. Um, this episode was pretty... It was pretty much the Miyabi show. Just her. Like, most of the episode was just... Okay, so she was still sad or something, and she didn't go to school. I guess she was sick, and Shogo fixed that. And she's like, Shogo, kiss me. He kind of freaks out, so she's like, at least go on a date with me. So they go on a date. And that's the whole show, really. Um, I guess key points to the show are side things that didn't really take too long. Um, so apparently, we all know that Miyabi does swimming. But from what I've heard or what I've acquired from some of the story or the episode was um, that Miyabi, I guess she got into the school because she got an athletic or some sort of recommendation. And I believe it's from swimming. So... Um, I'm assuming maybe, like, I don't know if the school is expensive or it's only for rich kids or enlightened children or something, but maybe she got in because of that. Maybe she actually was struggling to do that. And she seems a little worried about swimming. Like, I think she's worried about the whole Shugo thing. Um, and that broadens more suspicion to the whole fact, like, oh, what if she's a sister? Um, but I also think that what if she's just worried about the swimming meet because she wants to stay in the school? because show goes there or whatever and she has to like compete and win or else she loses her degree or some crap um another suspicion is well if she's just being blackmailed because she got to talk to the yuzu girl or yuzuru girl or whatever before like since she's the one who found her um but yeah and maybe she like bumped into her heard her scheming or some shit um but that might just be blind hope for me since i'm hoping miyabi wasn't the sister after all um other than that on side notes i guess um ikuzu has been doing work and she pretty much like she finds online um at the very end we find out she finds online a video of the tv show that um shogo used to watch as a little kid and in that show there's a little girl who is the own the sister of um the main guy the mecha fighter blue guy and she's like onichan onichan or some shit um and she looks surprisingly similar to yuzu or whatever her name is his sister or some shit um or supposed sister and i'm coming to the conclusion that maybe this girl isn't the age that she th- says what if she was hired by his assistant sari or risa or whatever and she's older like what if she's in her 20s or 30s i don't know about that but she's older than she seems and she's hired by the assistant and i know some people will be like that's ridiculous how how could she be younger looking but she's older but a perfect example is his own his own teacher because his teacher in the school is pretty much a fucking lolly and she's like oh i bought a car and i like teach students and shit it's like have you seen her she's tiny as hell she has like the exact body so i'm assuming it's possible in this anime stories world um so yeah and then it's kind of like shogo you should know that this yuzu chick is playing you or like messing with your shit because at the start she says some like oh hey like it's like we're newlyweds and he's like oh ha, ha. and then he makes a reference to the whole um were you at the funeral when Like, when you said, like, oh, I want to be your wife and marry you, when we were at the funeral, and she's like, I wasn't there, I didn't say that, or she was there, but, like, she didn't say that, or whatever, um, which is odd, but it's like, Shogo, you know what you heard, then obviously, like, this bitch is probably lying, um, then she says, like, oh, I know Kanoe was there, um, I remember seeing her, but Kanoe said she had to stay to do the exams to enter the school, so it's like, is Yuzu trying to bullshit you so much that, like, and you're so dense that you're not catching on to some of these? Or is Konoe actually a big liar, and she was there, and she just said shit? Or maybe this whole thing was just some giant lie. But hell, what the hell do I know? I, I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Um, So don't listen to me. But, <laughs> um, but yeah let me think other than that i can't recall anything else that's too major in the episode um 
Oh, and then more hint at me at Miyabi being the sister because the last place she wants to go at the end of their date is Lyrical Sisters Cafe, and supposedly like she if she knows the witch girl that like Sagara or whatever, then. And if they're really good friends, that just keeps hinting at the idea that she's a sister. And that kind of sucks. But whatever. Um, It should all be summed up in the next episode. I'm pretty much imagining that since um, the next episode's supposed to be titled, My Sister Has Been Beside Me All Along, or something like that. So it's like, alright, if you want to take it literal, then it's like, who has hung out with him the most? And I'd say it's Ikuzu still, but Miyabi has hung out with him pretty much often and kanoe kind of um student council girl <laughs> not even really and the blonde tsundere is barely so um yeah that's pretty much it um and as a joke i guess the big surprise twist would be <laughs> if if the redhead girl from the cafe was his sister like that'd be ridiculous but that's just a long shot in the park um other than that yeah well, pretty much, I guess the story's gonna come to a close, and now I'm just waiting for the next episode. I'm, I guess I'm more excited than I should be, just because I want to find out if they were just pushing the Miyabi thing just to, like, lie to us, like, trick us, or if it's serious and she's a sister, and that would kind of suck. But anyway, um, as usual, if you like the video, like it, if you want more, subscribe, and see you on the next episode. Later.